In today's video, I'd like to go over some of the apps that I typically have installed on my phone. I would consider these to be EDC apps. Uh, I kind of think that people who are into preparedness uh, or into prepping tend to think of their phones maybe a little differently than the average person may. Uh, we tend to have apps that are going to be uh, useful, us, useful for us every day. And then some apps we have on there uh, they may be helpful in an emergency situation and you may not use them every day but they still do come in handy and they're kind of neat so what I wanted to do today was kind of go over the different apps that I have on my phone uh, and uh, maybe you've got some suggestions I'd love to hear, hear about them in the comments so to start out with one of the things that I have done specifically is I've chosen the uh, Samsung Galaxy Active and this is a waterproof phone uh, it does have a case on there mainly just for the stand but in and by itself it's a waterproof phone uh, three feet for 30 minutes uh, dust proof um, uh, it's a really nice phone it's got a good display on it real nice big bright display uh, typically what I do like most people is I have the weather on the front screen and then I put everything to the right of that uh, basically you've got everything set up in these different apps um, this isn't uh, these are the ones I carry most of the time uh, but I'm always testing out different apps from time to time so I kind of start up here in the top um, one of these apps is just the standard compass that you've seen and I've just kind of like this app because of the old style compass and I, th I think that it's kind of nice looking so um, but Recently I found, I was watching a video by Prepared My 101 and he talked about this app as a smart compass app which was the coolest thing, uh, we'll do that, no thanks right now, of course it'd pop up in my video, but I thought this was kind of neat where what you look at, you can see, I'll move it this way a little bit you can see what you're looking at you can actually see the compass heading that you're going in um, and there's actually let's see if I can get it up here in the corner they've got a camera button so if you are trying to work your way to say a, a mountain top or down into a valley or something you can literally snap a picture of it save that picture so that if it's you know a day's hike away and you want to remember what you were looking at when you first started on your journey you actually can just go into the gallery and you'll find that picture right there so you can see where I took a picture um, did that or was at the beach the, uh, this past weekend and I kind of did the same thing where I was just messing around and I was looking to see what where from where I was sitting and, what, and uh, just see how uh, big of a picture it would take and that's basically me sitting in a chair at the ocean but it just allows you to save a snapshot of where you were heading to so that you can find your way now let's go back over here Another one of the apps that I like to put on here, uh, sometimes you may not always have a compass and what I know some people will do is they'll use the reflective part of the screen to see if they've cut their face or if they need to look at something where they normally can't see themselves. And I kind of found this app to be neat where it's a mirror app and it basically will reflect back, Hi. Reflect, reflect yourself back to Oh, so you can see yourself through the camera let's see let's move this out yeah um, I had been messing around with it with it a little bit so I had set up let's pull that back up okay um, so I like to have the mirror app on there it, it's a free one there is ads but they they're kind of unobtrusive so uh, it, it but it's useful just day to day, you think you've scraped your face or you can't, something's in your eye or whatnot, you can use your camera phone to uh, um, basically take a look at yourself. Another app that I came across 
um, with especially like this time of the year where you have a lot of rainstorms is an app called Sky Motion. Basically, what this does, let me get that in there, is it will give you where you are, where you're living, uh, details for the next several hours, almost every 10 15 minutes, five minutes is what it looks like right here every five minutes when it's supposed to rain and when it's supposed to not rain. Um, I found it to actually be pretty act, uh, accurate. So if you're on a hike and you've been out for most of the day, uh, I've done this in the past where this, the clouds kind of look like they're coming in. I'll pop up my phone and I'll pull up sky motion and then I'll actually see whether there's any rain being predicted right where I'm at uh, using the GPS in the phone. And it tends to be pretty accurate, and I know whether I need to start heading back or if I've got time to, to keep on going. Uh, some of the other apps I like to look at, uh, Google the Sky Map, where a lot of people have seen, where it shows you uh, the, the starscape. Um, I kind of find it interesting if you're trying to look for a specific, um, you know, specific star. Uh, the one that comes to mind at first would be like the North Star. You're trying to find that to do some navigation at night. It, it would let you find it pretty accurately by just swinging your phone around to the different areas of the sky. Um, one of them that, uh, that I also saw in another video was this mountaineering uh, app. As I said, some of these apps I, I wouldn't say that I'm going to use every day, you know, but there are just interesting ones if you are out somewhere and uh, you don't know how to do some of this stuff it, it gives you an app um, it's all here in this one uh, location um, another thing that I just thought of would be say you are uh, I have some children so I may be an area where I'm waiting for a while for them to do something sometimes I'll pull out my phone and I'll start going through some of these uh, and, and you are learning while you're waiting for someone you know to keep your skills up uh, this one's kind of neat because it talks about uh, rope management. If you had to uh, go down uh, some steep embankments or whatnot, and if you've got the right kinds of ropes, it kind of gives you an idea of how to 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 uh, navigate in some areas that you may just not know what you're, where you're at or what you're doing. So, kind of a neat. Like I said, it would be something I'd use all the time, but I just thought it was interesting and it was free. So. Um, this is another one I had seen that's kind of funny. If you, this is another one I wouldn't be using all the time. Uh, but say that you are out actually hunting and you're walking through the woods. You're trying not to make a lot of noise. Um, you do make some noise by accident. This is kind of an interesting little app where you can do turkey calls. Where, oh, come on. Um, So the idea behind this would be if you had this app open you could actually kind of cover it's kind of corny but cut you might be able to get away with it where you could kind of cover some of your sounds that you're making whereas uh, you could possibly make the wildlife think that you are another animal as opposed to being the a person walking through the woods don't know if it'll work or not, but it was a free app and I thought I'd throw it on there. Uh, another app that I like to do, uh, I mentioned earlier, would be was that uh, sometimes I would be places where uh, I may just be waiting. And uh, what I had gotten in the habit of doing was I took about a uh, 1 foot to 18 inch piece of paracord and that I had a scrap. I just melted the ends of it and I put that in my pocket. Um, so then if I am somewhere and I'm wanting to, let's go back and see how you get back to the, okay, so, um, if I wanted to, to work on doing some hitches, basically you can use your finger, you could use the rail that you're sitting at, you could basically use this piece of paracord that you carry around with you and work on some of these knots. Um, and I find that it's really helpful 
um, especially those ones that you really should know for camping um, and this this app is just wonderful in the fact that it's got all these different um, sound like you, you know, all these different types of knots uh, a lot of times you'll you'll hear like if you want, listen to any of Dave Canterbury's videos he talks about the Prusik knot so it, it literally walks you through step by step and you, while you're sitting there waiting for your wife waiting for your kids whatever you could be learning you know not just wasting your time listening to the music watching TV or something but really sharpening your preparedness skills and then when you need them you've gotten experience doing it um, where you're not trying to figure it out when you need it the most so I think it's a kind of this app I use uh, not a whole lot but I do use it quite often because I tend to be sitting around waiting for someone and uh, it's kind of nice to learn how to do things um, the FEMA app I find kind of interesting. It's just got a lot of neat information in there. You, it, it's, it's one where it's an app that you can actually uh, share with other people. You know, you, you, someone strikes up a conversation about how bad a storm was, whatever. It's kind of interesting because you can, it has all these things where you, you can walk through, show them, you know, what FEMA recommends as far as what they should build a kit. Um, and it's nice for yourself too if you're just getting starting and getting started prepping or getting into preparedness something you can carry around with you all the time and just uh, as I said if you're waiting around somewhere uh, just watch these videos uh, or watch the uh, use the apps and and uh, it's not something that you have to constantly download to your phone it's already there some of the other apps on here, you've got your NOAA radio, I've got it set, you can find you where you're sitting, uh, where you're at there. Um, like I said, I, I think I've said before, I'm in North Carolina, so it basically just pulls up all the different uh, air, or counties that you're in and you can pull up your local uh, weather radio. Um, and also with Scanner, I'm a ham radio operator, so uh, sometimes I will pull up uh, some of the ham radio uh, re repeaters around my area and I'll use those uh, I'll listen to this where if I may not have my radio you're kind of using the internet to relay some of the uh, uh, ham radio uh, repeaters and kind of keep in touch with some of the or at least you could hear if someone's calling for you then you could go outside and use your radio possibly I, I've, I've actually done that in the past um, but it also has uh, police fire um, Indianapolis Speedway Police. I mean, you never know what you're going to find on this app, but it's kind of a neat app. Um, and, and I believe that one was a free app as well. And then there actually a, is a dedicated police scanner app as well. Uh, some of these I haven't um, messed with in a while, so all these ads keep popping up. As, as I said, uh, I sometimes have them on the phone, but I may not use it day to day. Uh, but it's something I like to have if you're not in an area somewhere and you you know I won't have to wish oh man I, I had downloaded it while I was in Wi-Fi or within a cell phone range uh, one of the other apps I suffer from is, is allergies real bad so uh, this one's kind of a neat free app uh, it's ad driven as well that kind of gives you different uh, pollen counts around your area uh, if you hadn't seen it before it's a nice looking app and uh, you know, it gives you your count in, in the particular area that you're at right there. Let's see. So there is another app that I wanted to show you as well. Um, it's a specifically, it's an app that you, interestingly enough, you have to get from the Amazon App Store. Uh, Google themselves don't offer it as a download. So, you have to go to the app store, download the Amazon app, and um, making sure that you si that you tell the phone that it's okay to download apps from non-approved places. Install the the Amazon app, and then what you're looking for, or what you're going to want to do, is do a search for this one here called TubeMate. Um, and what this does is it lets you. Uh, log in using your YouTube credentials and then 
uh, let's see, it will show you your history so that when you log in, you can go look at your history and you can kind of see what you have um, looked at in the past. It won't show you your whole video. It, it doesn't show you everything. So you do have to kind of... The, the point of this is, is that if you've got one of these videos, say like you wanted, I wanted to get this one from Skinny Medic that I had watched the other day. So what happens is, is that when you click on the video, it shows it to you. You can watch it if you want to. But there's this button right there, this little down arrow. You push the arrow, it goes to YouTube, sees what different qualities you can download the video at. So it's a, uh, that's terrible, but it's, it's uh, basically, you pick the highest quality that you think your device can play and you hit download and then it actually just starts downloading over the, uh, over the Wi-Fi that you're at. And then um, you have to download a second app to get the sound. It, it, it creates an MP3 out of the sound that you're, that goes along with the video, but it kind of gives you a notification um, in your, uh, whatever that's called, your taskbar or whatnot to, uh, to let you know how far along it's gotten and You, so basically when it's done downloading, I was kind of waiting to see if it wouldn't take too long to download. What you can do is you go to your videos, and I just have them saved under YouTube. Whoops. I'm clicking too many times here. There it is. It's you. It actually shows you in the list. So, the, what I how what I do with this is basically I can create a repository of different videos that if I'm still if I'm waiting for someone, if I instead of just sitting there doing nothing, I could be learning. Um, the one of the videos that I want to get out and try to do and make a video of pretty soon. Is uh, this is the video that uh, Dave Cangray right, put out? I wanted to do a short video for you guys today. I want to give you a little bit of advantage uh, from the training session that I had. And basically, uh, I don't have to download this again. I've already downloaded it once, and I could sit here, plug in my headphones, and I have the video right on my phone. So I'm not using my data plan to stream from YouTube. Um, I can download these in my house and then just have them backed up on the phone. Obviously, you'd need to have a pretty large card. Uh, I've got a 32 gig card in this phone, um, but the screen's huge. The, the, the detail is really nice. Um, you know, I, I've got those. I've got, uh, you know, video from Such. I've got some from Skinny Medic. I have got some from just different uh, um, Prepare My 101. Several different videos that I like to watch. You know, I might be looking into a knife that I want to get or how to make a a fireboard or um, I was doing some work on one of my cars so I downloaded the video so at uh, some in my garage I can just keep playing the video rewinding fast forward the video um, and uh, get the and able to get the job done but you can see all these videos uh, are all on this phone I don't have to download them again I just have them you know have them set up so that they just start playing automatically right off the phone and uh, you know full sound full video so that's another app and it's free that's a the, the tube mate is a free app you don't um it's ad driven um actually i like the app so much that i wish the guy would actually have a paid version so that i could pay for it and get the ads off uh, i really don't like some of the uh, if i if if the person makes a paid version where i could go ahead and buy it and not have to look at the ads uh, they probably make more money on the ads but it's just annoying to me to see these ads because you just don't ever know what's going to show up some of them can be pretty bad um so it um, it's you know on my wish list. I wish that someone would do, but 
Um, these are just some of the apps that I carry on my phone. I just figure them to be just EDC types of apps. I just want to have them on the phone all the time. As I said, some of the apps I may use, some of the apps uh, I may use every day, some I may not have, hardly ever use, but um, I'd really like to hear or if you've got any apps that you uh, just ha or must have that you install on every phone as soon as you get it. You know, if I'm missing anything, let me know because this is this would be a great conversation. I mean, there's a couple of these videos out there already, and I realize uh, I'm making one. Uh, where other people have gone and made them before me but it's just such an interesting topic you know it's really one of these things where it's so personal but I think there's just a lot of information that could be shared between people and uh, if please in the comments you know let me know if you like the video I really like getting thumbs up lets me know what videos are popular and what ones aren't you know if I should if I should focus on those more um, right now I'm kind of just doing a widespread uh, of different all kinds of different videos really just to get a gauge of um, the popularity of them and uh, I finally have made one of my goals I finally have gotten up to 10 subscribers and I'd love to get to 25 next you know if you uh, please share my channel with your friends you know if there's anybody that's getting into preparedness you know, I think I've got some good videos on some kits that uh, they could build right away. Uh, I've got a whole list of videos that I'm going to be making uh, coming up soon. Uh, now the weather's getting nicer, I'm going to get outside and do some more videos of uh, just a different equipment, some get home, a get home bag, a bug out bag, just a whole list of videos that I'm going to be making soon. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Please give me a thumbs up and uh, please share and subscribe to my videos and I'll get back with a video as quickly as I can. Thanks. Bye.